Sky is the storm-tossed comic book character out for revenge on the author who murdered his family. Jace is the nerdy comic book fan trying to escape his father's deadly legacy. When their worlds collide, Jace must choose between the real world he's always hated and the comic book world he's always loved. And Sky must decide if killing his author would save his world or damn his soul. Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Jen Reads Without Pants On. You ready? <laughs> I love the sounds of papers. I love books. I know y'all do too. Okay. Solving simple differentials became solving substitution equations, which became volume functions, which became paging through the textbook for harder challenges. And the fricker finished before me every time. He made basic mistakes though, like forgetting to add a C after an integration, or swapping out a minus for a plus because he couldn't read his own terrible handwriting. That crap wasn't just chicken scratch, it was velociraptor footprint faded in the sands of time. I didn't make mistakes. I teased him about his carelessness, and he teased me about my 12 second lag behind him. And in that teasing, we drank through three hours, two gallons of milk, and a packet and a half of not Oreos. Evening found us sitting on the couch, buried in paper. Colossus wallet sat long forgotten on the table. Really? I asked. No one's ever told you you look like a comic book character? I think that's just you being racist, he laughed. All Asians don't look alike. Oh, shut up. See, now I don't believe you read comics. I punched him. You gotta know who I'm talking about. I mean, it's been a while. Hold that thought. I stood up. I'll be right back. This next chapter is where the comic book stuff begins. Chapter 3. Sky. Dementia Comics, issue 34. Crab Attack. Sky clenched his fists and took a deep breath as the wind blew back his hair, spitting sleet in his face like disdain. Gloves, belt, mask, and boots, black and shiny. Suit sparking, tight and blue. He looked good, but the skyscraper under him stretched forever down to the slick black city street, and he didn't have to look to know. He'd never flown at this height before. Get going, Mono, crackled Carl's voice in his ear. Be ready for a lightning show, robot man, Sky smiled. He threw up his arms and swan dived off the building. Sky's boots tummed as their mini scram jets scooped up oxygen for power. Faster, faster he fell, exuberant speed pushing back his cheeks, and when his soles buzzed ready, he threw back his chest to whip himself out of the dive. Woo! <laughs> up right now, he leaned forward like a racer, skating on air as if climbing invisible stairs. It was time to do a bunch of stuff he'd never done before and die if he failed. He laughed as he spun over a power line. Step one, fend off an alien attack. Crab-shaped starships screamed to battle around him. From the shadows of the skyscrapers rose a constant din of human cries. Above their small voices shrieked one ear-shadowing metallic order over and over to the city in turmoil. Surrender to the magnate. Surrender to the magnate. The magnet, huh? Sounds attractive. Sky laughed, just for his own dorky benefit. <laughs> he made for the giant chrome crab attacking the orphanage. Really, aliens? You gonna play dirty like that? Five minutes ago, he didn't know these things existed, and he was already starting to form some strong prejudice. We're getting word that our crustacean visitors bought teenagers from one of the local human trafficking rings, Carl crackled in Sky's ear. His thick, cool Puerto Rican accent broke a little under interference from the weather. We need to find those kids before the battle ends. Kids? Sky laughed, kicking the orphan-attacking crab across the sky with a blast of wind from his boot. Look who you're talking to. I'm sorry. Young adults, Carl said. Butterflies seeking out the alien leaders to hunt down a diplomatic solution, and you're running defense. A whole city all to myself? Sweet. Focus, Mono. We've never faced anything this big before. Oh yeah? What about the guys who killed June? Sky frowned, but before he could say anything, a crab shot a laser at him out of its claw. His hair sizzled. Thanks, he said. Mom's been saying I need a haircut. Surrender to the magnate, the crab said. What, is that the only phrase you learned in our language? Sky laughed, dancing between its claws to get in close enough for a hug. We get it, you're into submissive humans. He tapped its side, sparks flew from his gloves into the machine, and the whole thing began to fall out of the sky. Towards the school bus of orphans below. Oh, crap! Sky dove after the ship, propelling wind behind him, straining to reach, but it fell faster than he did, and he just wasn't fast enough. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, 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 He strained, he reached, oh, no! A cry rose from under the shadow of the machine, a cry that grew into a roar. That's my book, and, uh, that's me.
If you want to skip ahead and read the whole book, there'll be links below to how you can get it and pre-order. It comes out August 31st, which is like next Thursday or something like that. I don't know. I don't know days. Um, so yeah, check it out.